Hello, welcome back. This is Kench 1913, and we're let's play Nino Cooney Wrath of the White Witch. In the last episode, we helped Tim uh, King Tom get his, uh, uh, you know, beat the mice or whatever. Anyways, in this episode, we're gonna actually do a couple of side quests before heading off to the Golden Grove. So yeah, uh, I'd like to apologize for not actually having the videos uploaded like daily. Uh, like there usually should be, but I want to talk to you about uploading schedule for Nino Kuni. Since it is a console game and I'm recording directly from the console, I have to uh, I have to pretty much do some recording afterwards. You know, process it uh, via uh, post commentary or whatever. Since I can't, um... so yeah, we gotta talk to this guy, and he's gonna tell us about Tug of Tail. And then the locket's glowing, meaning he has a lot of enthusiasm. But anyways, uh, so yeah, pretty much, um, the game is going to be uploaded. I'm going to try to keep it pretty much daily, if possible, but there might actually be little periods of time in between where I won't have it uploaded because I have to capture the footage, then I edit the footage, then I talk over said footage. So it, it is a lot more effort to do it, so... There might be some periods where there won't be a video for a day or two. Hopefully not too much, but sometimes it is going to happen. I'm not going to lie to you. And, you know, being uh, uh, my house is not the most uh, stable all the time in the aspects of recording. So I got to be able to do it when I can. And with this footage, I had to record it like in the middle of the night. And I was beat. Luckily, I drank a lot of coffee that day. So anyways, let's go find someone, as you can see, uh, when uh, the little icon on the top, when they glow green, that means you can take the heart. You can take some heart from them, and the l little blue guys that are blinking means you can actually do a quest, just like before. But yeah, so, uh, yeah, I'd like to, like I said, apologize for that, but just I'm letting you know up, 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 uh, up front that I am not stopping the LP, it's just occasionally I won't be able to upload daily. Now the first few episodes, the first eight, eight or so episodes were recorded, uh, I was able to get, I was able to mass record a shit ton of footage and, and then be able to just kind of casually get that commentary ready and all that. And now that I'm kind of caught up, I've been meaning to try to stay ahead of the game, but just with stuff going on in, at my house, uh, it's been kind of hard to do so, so, whatever. As long as you're getting it, I guess you don't give a shit. But I figured I'd just explain why we're, uh, dealing with that. But anyways, now we can do this quest where we have to give the wife some enthusiasm. So let's give her some enthusiasm. Yeah, so there you go. But I am gonna try and, like I said, keep this current, and it might, I might end up doing like I'll upload during the week, and then I'll, on the weekends I, I'll, uh, uh, will, will be the days where I can record it, and then get everything edited and all that shit. So who knows? We'll see how it works. But yeah, we saved the wifey, and now they're gonna give us some nice stuff. Yay! There we go, we got some stamps. So let's get some more enthusiasm. So let's talk to this guy. As you can see, the locket is glowing, which means we can grab a piece of his heart. So yeah, these cat people, they are very enthusiastic, although most cats are not. take some heart. So yeah, this is pretty much how the game's gonna go. You know, you go around town, you do some stuff, then you, uh, you do the main story in the, in the town, then you, then you do some stuff, give hearts, take hearts, uh, do bounties, all that good stuff. So, you know, this game is really, really good. I don't remember what, it came out in 2013, I think, I think this game might have been able to win Game of the Year, I don't know if it did, but it should have. 
Anyways, if we come over here to this sharp-dressed man, this dapper fellow, we can actually get uh, a quest from this guy. And this guy will actually be in all the towns. Every town you go to, we'll be getting quests from this guy. So he pretty much lost his journal, or diary, or whatever the hell. And now we have to go get it for him. Yeah, he's got a diary, which means he's, he's a... Uh, He's a little girl, because if he's a man, then he should have a journal. So now we have to go to the northwest of here. An island in the stream. Island in the stream. And then between a couple of trees. So I know exactly where this is, so I'm not worried. Alright, so now we gotta find... There's a guy who wants some enthusiasm. Now you can only collect one piece of, of a heart at, at, at a certain time. As you can see, there's going to be multiple pieces of hearts. So what we want to do is, uh, what is it? What you want to do is uh, get the pieces of heart. And even if there are nothing to do with them in this town, you should take them anyways. So the item that I want to get here... I want to eventually get these things, but for the time being, I want to get Jack Be Nimble, which lets you run faster out on the hills. Pretty much out in the world. And that's actually going to be very helpful when we're, when we're trying to do some stuff with monsters and stuff. And we want to get away from them. So let's take on this next bounty. Which we need to go... I'll show you where... Excuse me, I'll show you where it is. The nice thing about... The bounties is they'll actually show up on the world map, which is nice. So we need to go find a guy near a water wheel. We need to find a forest dweller. And then we have that already, so... Pretty much just goes to our thing. But yeah. So, I think I'm making a fairly good amount of progress. Alright, yeah, I gotta go that way per video. I have a feeling this game's gonna be way over 100 parts. Now, the thing about this game, too, is when I re when I played it originally, I didn't end up doing too much post-game content, and I'm, I'm trying to debate whether I'm gonna be doing that in this LP or not. So, yeah, this guy is, uh, pretty... pretty lazy. must be heartbroken. Yeah, he's lost the lust for life. Alright, so let's give him, uh... Let's give him some enthusiasm. There we go. Look at that. Enthusiasm up the wing wang. Yay. Yeah, so now when we get the stamp card, I want to actually collect enough where I don't have to, where I get two things. Now what we want to do, I'm going to head back to the main square and collect the uh, enthusiasm from that other guy. Because like I said, uh, whenever you find enthusiasm or any piece of art, collect it. Unless you already have it, don't bother. Because uh, that'll save you a trip coming back. Like, it's not a spoiler to tell you that we're going to be needing enthusiasm for the next area, and you might not be able to find it in the next area, so you might need to use it from this spot. It's just a good idea to, uh, to do this. Try to... Excuse me, try to do it in every town. 
So yeah, let's take some enthusiasm from you, sir. And there we go. Yippee skippy. Now to head out and do a couple of things. Like the bounty, find that guy's diary, and then go find the forest. Mm, so there isn't much left to do in Ding Dong Dell. Now the nice thing about this game is we will be coming back here, so... Uh, there will still be some quests to do in this area. And hell, there's still more story to do in this area. You, you might think, oh, that we're all done here. Well, we're not. Not even close. <sighs> Whoops. That's why I like this game. Because, uh, it's just so good. And it's full of depth. And, uh, it's just a lot of fun. Level 5 Studios is, like, one of the best role-playing studios out there. I mean, have they made a bad game? Seriously. I've never played the Dark Cloud. So yeah, over there is where, uh, if you look to the west, that's where the, uh, uh, guy is. The, uh, the bounty. But yeah, has Level 5 ever done a bad game? I mean, they pretty much did all the Professor Layton. They pretty much did all of the, uh... They did Dragon Quest VIII. They did Dragon Quest... Or they did, uh, Rogue Galaxy. Which is another one of my favorite games. Alright, so over here is where the, uh... <clears throat> over here is where we can fight, uh... Or grab that guy's diary. Now we got that guy's diary. Now let's go fight the, uh... Let's go fight the, uh... The thing. Actually, let's collect this water here. There we go, because we can always use that later. Alright, let's keep going. Fighting birds. Yeah, we're pretty much wiping the floor with these guys. Alright, let's take on this guy. We shouldn't be too much trouble if you got your character up to like level 8 or 9. Watch this! So what I want to do is take care of the easy guys first. And make sure that they don't put me to sleep. Let's pick this guy. Alright, let's go back to Oliver. And heal up. Alright, let's do a fireball. Uh, that was shitty. What about a frost spell? Oh, that worked pretty good. Ooh, thank you, Mr. Drippy. Right, let's do another cold spell. And there we go, dead. We won! So close to that next level. 
Alright, so now we finished that bounty. But before we head off, uh, let's find out where the uh, forest area is. Um, it's on the eastern section of the, of the uh, Ding Dong Dell. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? Right, right, right. Since I'm over here, I might as well go up to uh, go see... Uh, what the hell is his name? Father Oak or whatever. Professor Oak and get my Pokemon. Which he did technically give me. Now that I'm thinking about it. I didn't get a chance to choose which Pokemon I wanted, though. Came over here to heal. Very nice. I gotta save it. But yeah, like like I said, uh, if you come back and visit this uh, tree guy occasionally, he will give you items and stuff, so it's a good idea to do so. After a certain after certain story events, you come back and uh, and get stuff. One thing one thing that I also want to do. One reason why I also came back here was now that I have uh, the spring lock spell, I can open up that chest. That's in the, uh, that's in the forest. Yeah, that was no feat. Man, this tree is like the giving tree. It just keeps giving and giving and giving. Yeah, look after your familiars and they'll look after you. So now I'm I'm pretty much just gonna meet you back to where the treasure chest is in the forest. So that I can show you what, what we get in there. So what you wanna do is pretty much head back the other way. Alright, now here we are over here. Let's use the spring lock spell. Open up this chest and ta-da, we get a plan. Now I'm going to meet you outside of the forest. Alright, now that we're outside of the forest, let's go to the eastern section. And uh, I'm going to... Uh, we're going to find that forest where we can get that one... Uh, the... Uh, what the hell is it? We're going to go to the forest to get... Uh, that one quest that we're missing. Now that one thing you want to do, by the way is with the forest area there's going to be a couple of sections like this so if you keep if you keep heading east you'll see it from ding dong dell it's east and then north see how the land takes like a little upper left you gotta go there i'll show you well what else was i gonna say pretty much uh I don't know what the hell I was going to say. Oh yeah, for, there are going to be forested areas all over the place. So keep an eye out for that as you're looking around. So from here, we're going to take a left. We're going to grab some more spring water. And take a left. And you see if you keep heading north up there. Alright, what we want to do is head north. So yeah, notice how guys are running away now? That's good. Alright, so now we're coming to this area, which is a forested area. Now remember, we have to come back here later, but for the time being, let's use spring lock and open up this door. I mean, chest. And we get ourselves a battler's badge, which is a good badge. You can equip it on, I believe you're familiar, obviously, uh, but I think it's, uh... Well, you can equip it on them. Pretty much it brings up your defense by two, so I'm gonna give it to you. There you go. Mm, what's the problem, forest people? Mm, why is this? Now, what's happening? Oh, 
rhino boar. Alright, so what we're gonna do here is take out five of these creatures. And the nice thing about these kind of quests is that, uh, the nice thing about these quests is, like, uh, they'll actually, if you're looking for that monster, it'll actually appear, which is really, really nice. So you don't have to, you don't have to be like, oh, where are they? See, there's five guys right there. But actually, I forgot to look at something when we came in here. So if we look over here... There's a chest somewhere, and we can't reach it right now. Yeah, right there. So later on, we're going to get someone who's going to help us get those chests. But for the time being, we cannot get them. Anyways, so now we're going to take care of five of these guys. So this is a rhino boar. Watch this! Let's take him on with the mighty might. There we go. It wasn't we too hard. They weren't too hard. So now what I'm gonna do is just beat the other four and I'll be right back. You know, one down, four to go. So just keep taking care of them around the area. Alright, I defeated all five, so let's head back to the forest and see what the hell is going on. You're gonna give us iced coffee, very nice. And there we go. Another reward down. The merit cards are a pretty awesome uh, idea to get, like, uh, to get stuff. More spring water, yippee. And as you can see, monsters are running away from us now, which is nice. Alright, so now back in Ding Dong Dell, we can uh, get the swift solutions and talk to that one guy over here. Hello. There you go, sir. Capital idea. Capital. Oh, dear old thing, don't tell. <sighs> Yay! Yay, we get another stamp card. So this item is a giant's tooth. It brings up your, uh... It brings up your, uh... Your attack by one and also makes enemies a little more fearful of you. I don't know how true that is, but whatever. Alright, so let's have the Swift Solutions and get our reward for that one bounty we did. Now this time I'm actually going to save my Merit card to get something else. So, yeah. So let's claim our, uh, yeah, so I'll probably end up getting that glim thing. The thing that gives you more glims, or whatever the hell they are. So we get salted ice cream and other stuff. So there we go. We pretty much did everything that we can do in Ding Dong Dell, and uh, we're pretty set. So let's look, see, no errands, no bounties, we're all set. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the video here and the next episode we will head to the Golden Grove and uh, try to get through there to go find Al Malmoon or to go to Al Malmoon. So this has been Kenshin 13 I will see you later. Bye bye.